Conditioned air comes from either the aircraft system or a ground source, for example the engines, auxiliary power units, or a ground cart. But we will be further explaining how it comes and is processed through an air conditioning pack for the CRJ200. First, you have outside air entering the engine with the aid of a system that controls how much bleed air enters, also known as your system valve. The low density air gets compressed. Hot compressed air is transported via ducts to the air conditioning packs. Next, you have your mixing valves. There is a pilot temperature controller connected to these. These mixing valves control the amount of hot and cold air that will get to the mixing chamber. Next is your heat exchanger. The system bleed air from the engine is cooled by ram air. Your heat exchanger supplies outside air via the ram air inlet. Both bleed and ram air are separated by tubing. The baffles will direct this air and it will decrease your temperature of air. Next is your 35 degree or known as your bypass valve. It opens when the temperature of air leaving the air cycle machine drops below 35 degrees Fahrenheit. It mixes in hot air that is bypassed the heat exchanger and turbine. It will keep air above the freezing temperature of 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Next is your air cycle machine. The compressor creates the load for the turbine. The turbine will then turn the compressor and the turbine will take energy out of the air for work. Air is cooled because part of energy drawn is known as heat energy, and this also decreases your temperature. After the air travels through the air cycle machine, it needs to go through the water separator. After the air cycle machine, it's usually below zero. It's negative 20 to negative 30 degrees. It needs to dehumidify the air, so we travel through the water separator. Uh, the air will be humid, because the rapid cooling causes water vapor to turn into fog. After passing through the water separator, the air will travel up to the mixing chamber. The mixing chamber receives both that cool air and hot air from the mixing valve. The mixing valve opens and closes and lets a certain amount of hot air through to the mixing chamber. That's going to decide how warm the air is going to be after the mixing chamber. After the air passes through the mixing chamber, it'll go up and into many vents that supply the aircraft. These vents lead to the heating and cooling vents for the passengers. It'll go out to anti-ice on the wings as well as de-ice, uh, pressurization, and also equipment cooling. Uh, the avionics and systems get very warm and they need to be cooled and that uh, air pack supplies the cooling for it. And there you have the air conditioning pack.